Alrighty. Just got this information. Well, I got the information the other day that not one, but both of my websites were attacked and they in fact did have a virus. And this is what's really interesting. They both had the same virus. Uh, what I did is I went out and hired someone because all of the free information, it just wasn't working. So I hired someone who's now on my iTeam team because I think this is something that's probably going to happen again in the future where my websites are being deliberately attacked. And this is why I say it. The first one got attacked, which was the free money website. And let's, let's, let's talk about that. So I put up a website teaching people financial literacy. And I put up, it costs me money, I make it free. That's the first website that gets attacked. And then Sunday, I'm supposed to have a webinar and mere minutes before the webinar, the second website gets attacked. So my thoughts are these are the deliberate actions of a hater because here's the thing. And this is why I say this. Um, I have been doing this since 2014 and this is the first time that this has ever happened. And for my websites to be attacked one after another by the same virus is pretty much par for the course. Cause now, uh, I have this wonderful IT person who actually, and this is what's really, really cool. This person was like, well, let's go ahead and look at it and everything. And this person actually fixed the websites before I actually paid them. Let me say that again. They actually fixed the websites, got everything cleared up before I paid them. And this person is now on the team because if this happens again, uh, I have someone who can go in and fix these things pretty quickly. Um, I eat fire.com is alive and well, um, the mother, the mindset course is alive and well, and you know, this got me to thinking it really, really got me to thinking. I'm like, you know, cause I knew the first website was hacked because the password was changed. That was the first thing. And I went in and I was able to go back and change the password and to reset the website. And, you know, I'm going to leave that website for free. I'm not going to charge anyone. It's, and this is what's funny. There is no way for me to charge anyone for the money course because I never at, enacted a payment processing on that website. There's no payment processing at all on that website. So, what I'm finding out is because I refuse to put out that content because there were some people who were hanging around thinking, you know, maybe he's just playing, maybe he'll go back to it. And now there's a bunch of people like, oh, he's not going to do that content. He's not going to make those kind of videos. He's not going to get into YouTube beefs. And a lot of people are really, really, upset about that. And I also did some investigation. It's incredibly easy to go out and hire a hacker. <clears throat> and my, my computer person said these viruses were common and then there was something And my computer person said, this was the work of a low grade hacker because they were able to fix this. I hired them Monday morning. And two o'clock this morning, they had fixed the website. They had got it fixed. And <clears throat> I was just sitting there like, so when I'm doing all this clowning and crazy stuff, that's perfectly fine. But because I stand up on my principles and say, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to engage it. I had multiple people talking about me, multiple people making videos. I did not fall to it. I stayed on my path. And this is what I'm going to do about the hacking. I'm going to put out the best training that I've ever put out before because there, there's a lot of stuff that's coming. And fortunately, you know, this is just kind of part of business. You have 
situations where there's things you got to do. So that didn't get me. But what did piss me off was the fact that someone was deliberately attacking my websites. And I'm just sitting there like, because this is, like I said, this is the first time this has happened. I had a Facebook page hacked. I had my Instagram page hacked. And hacking is becoming a, a huge, huge, huge problem. And this is why I now have someone on my internet team because, you know, in case it happens again. But yeah, that's what's going on. I have people deliberately hacking my websites, attacking my websites. For what reason? I have no clue. I have no clue. But once again, it, it's very interesting that I would be going through this. So what I'm going to do, and th this, this is the thing, this is the corporate citizen in me. Um, I'm going to run a test webinar because today is Tuesday and we will have, um, cause here, here's the thing. Um, now that the website is clear of the viruses, it was in fact a virus. Now I can start adding content. Today is Tuesday, so I'm not going to really add too much on a Tuesday. However, I will start adding stuff tomorrow, which is a Wednesday. And uh, I'm going to start doing something a little different because uh, I had a bunch of people sign up for the webinar. And that's one of the reasons I think that this was done because I was having a lot of people sign up, had a lot of people who showed up, even though I did not in fact have a webinar. I did not have a traditional regular webinar. I just let people know that my sites were red and that we could not go ahead forward. But once again, I did say this would be fixed. I had no clue that it would be fixed as fast as it got fixed because once again, and I'm going to tell you exactly the protocols. I went online, I started looking at people and guess what I hired? I hired the most expensive person. I didn't hire the cheapest person. I hired the most expensive person and they got the problem resolved and fixed because I was listening to it. Like there was a lot of people that entertained and they were telling me it was going to take 72, 48 to 72 hours and all this other stuff. And you know, there are other people who are having these issues and there's a girl on Facebook. She's a member of a group and she's still having issues because she tried to fix it herself. And she's been having these issues since Thursday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, five days, she's been down. And you know, th this is what's really funny because let me go ahead and explain to you. Um, the attacks didn't really do nothing because I had announced that I was going to have a webinar. So I've been focusing on the webinar and a lot of people, most people were not buying because I was going to have a webinar. So, you know, from the dollars and cents situation, it really didn't do nothing in that regard. And that's one of the reasons I'm not like losing my mind and coming out and going off and scratching and acting all weird because I've been in a situation before where I had things happen with my business that I had to rectify rather quickly or there would have been no business. So yeah, everything is set back. I need to change the uh, money course language back to that website and then I need to go ahead. So let me go ahead and let you guys know what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to have an automated webinar. I will not be there live. We're going to see, we're going to, we're, we're, this gives me an opportunity to test some things out. So we're going to have an automated webinar that's going to be going on tonight. And I'm going to give people a generous discount for attending the webinar to get them to sign up for the course. Because let me explain to you, 
a lot of the things that, and this will be in the webinar because I'm not going to sit here and explain it to you and then have a webinar with the same information. That's just, that's just foolish. But one of the things that we're going to get into is the corporate citizen playbook. We're going to get into the YouTube training and there's a whole lot more that we're going to get into to go ahead and to let people know what's happening, what we're doing once again, because of this little hiccup, let's call it a hiccup. Um, the X five will be given away the end of July. It will be given away the end of July. And then we will be dealing with some other stuff. And there, there's a first, that's the X five is the first prize. And the second prize is computer equipment and a camera for your YouTube channel. So all of this is going on and you know, it, it's just wild because as a productive person, when you're seeing people who are just kind of playing around, let's call it that they're just playing around. They're not out here really trying to do anything. They're not out here trying to build anything. They're demo people. They're demo people. They're the destructive people. And you guys have seen the carnage. You guys have seen the attacks. Um, it's pretty interesting because I, I'm going to tell you that my strategy to go for the most expensive person actually worked because one, number one, I had no clue to what was going on. I had suspicions. I was suspicious because the password was changed and I was able to go into the site and change the password back that I was hacked. But I really, really didn't know. Now I know. And for a fact, I was hacked, had a malicious virus on the website and the website has been cleaned up and it's no longer red when you go put the website in and it, it's just the, the, the weirdest, weirdest thing that I'm going to say it. I feel, and this is not me not knowing a hundred percent certain. I feel that it was a hater who did this because I've had, you know, I've had, you know, every time I started a new YouTube channel, I had people show up and had something to say. And this is another Glendon Cameron saying, those who come for you will always be doing less than what you're doing. Because all these people, it's like, they had a lot to say. It was like, rah, 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 right? But when you actually looked at what they were doing in their real lives, it was much of nothing. And, you know, I feel, once again, I have no proof, I have no evidence, and what I may do is go ahead and hire another computer person to track these folks down. Because see, hacking a website is illegal, and if I can go ahead and find some investigators to track down the person, track down who did it, press some charges, that's what we'll do because, you know, I'm just sitting here like, you know, I'm, I'm just minding my business, I'm just minding my business. Right. And I got folks who are upset, upset because I do not want to make that kind of content anymore. And it, it's just, you know, like I said, in the first video, I said, this will be something that will be fixed. It'll be resolved. I just had no clue it was going to be fixed and resolved so quickly. Um, so there, there's some things that are going on. Like I said, I had well over what 200 people sign up for the webinar. So that lets me know that a lot of people were, were eager to ask questions. And let me go ahead and explain to you what I'm doing tonight. I'm going to put up an automated webinar. I will not be there and we're going to do this this week. And then Sunday, we're going to have a live webinar. So we will see what people will, were looking for because, and once again, thank you for calling my phone number. 
I've had nothing but decent, respectful people call, so I really appreciate that. So we're gonna work on the benefits of being a corporate citizen, the benefits of being, of doing YouTube. YouTube has been responsible for me making millions of dollars. And a lot of people really sleep on YouTube because there is the, um, the foolish side of YouTube, let's call it the foolish side of YouTube. And then there's the practical side of YouTube. And if you're working on the practical side of YouTube, there's no limit to the amount of money that you can make. There's no limit. Uh, there's something else that I'm getting ready to do. Today is Tuesday. I need to sit down because I it's on my desk. It's on my list of things to do. I got certain things to do that I'll be talking about in the YouTube course. Because here's another reason that I'm being so tongue in cheek. Once you put something out on YouTube, it becomes de facto. It becomes the normal thing. It becomes that thing. And once people get it, they can go a little crazy with it, right? So there are some things that I'm going to talk about in the webinar tonight. It's once again, it's an automated webinar. We will take this week to test out and to see what happens with people who get in the webinar and we will see what, cause you know, like I said, if you have a question, once again, there is a phone number. Um, I should have it running across the screen. If you have a question, if there's something you want to know, go ahead and call that phone number. I, I will not be answering it. It's an automated message. And you just leave your message or you can, you can actually text that number as well. You can text that number or you can call that number. And we're getting ready to experiment and do some things because this is, this is life in the business land, man. You know, you got things you're working on. You got things you're trying to do. And then things just happen, just happens. But once again, I want you guys who watch me to actually pay attention. What did I say in the last video? I said, we're going to get this solved. It is now solved. It didn't take that long because I went ahead and hired someone. And one of the things that you, you got to see this, like I say, I'm going to do something. I do it. And that's one of the things that I want to teach people in the classes is to become that doer, not, you know, because once again, we're not going to have a whole bunch of rah, rah, like, hey, everybody in there doing well. I wish y'all the best. That's very socially conscious. That's very nice. But I got a question. How much money does that put in your pocket? I see videos on YouTube all of the time talking about because it's a, it's a big thing, how to be a YouTuber. That's, that's really a big, big thing and going on in these YouTube streets, how to be a YouTuber, uh, how to set up your YouTube channel. And I, I will tell you, and I'm going to say this, and I'm not just saying this because I'm selling the course. I'm saying this because I've seen it. YouTube is treating new YouTubers the best that I've ever seen. I've seen people with four and five videos and one of the videos gets a hundred thousand views. Um, right now with the proper training is the best time ever to come on YouTube. I would say, because literally, uh, there, there are going to be things I'll be talking about in the YouTube course that I would recommend that you do this. And I'm gonna recommend that you don't do this. And, um, there's so much that's going on right now. There is so much that you can do to get money from YouTube. It is sick right now. And everyone is coming from TikTok, a lot of tick, tick, yeah, TikTok, a lot of Instagram people. Everyone's running the YouTube. The NFL ticket is here on YouTube. Everyone's running the YouTube because YouTube is getting more and more and more traffic. And I will say that I'm seeing a lot of YouTubers who have started their YouTube channels completely wrong. <laughs> I mean, I'm just seeing it every day. Cause like I said, there's so many people who are coming to YouTube 
And if you want to create a relationship channel, you want to create a prank channel, you want to create a sports commentary channel, you got plenty of competition because those simple, easy to do YouTube channels are flooded. But if you want to create a channel teaching someone, uh, there's a girl. She actually has a really successful YouTube channel and she has an e-commerce brand and she talks about her brand and her selling and things she does. Really successful. And one of the things that you will see, because I, I did a search that many people are not interested in starting a full-fledged business. People just are running from the responsibility. They're just running from it. And they're running from the thing that will put that money in their pocket. That, that's the thing that gets me because so many people are looking, because right now, let me go ahead and just give you the state of America. The average income, the average household income, which is now $70,000, household income cannot afford the average home. The average household income of 70,000 cannot afford the average home. The average household income of $70,000 cannot afford a regular normal car. What does this tell you? All right, if you want to remain living in the United States of America, I got some things I want to share with you. It's just going to get more and more expensive to live in America. That is not going to change. I love all of these YouTube channels that are talking about a real estate crash and real estate prices have gone up. They had stabilized a little bit. They went down a little bit. And I, 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 want, I, want, I, want, I want you to kind of stick with me here. Let's say you have a house and the price of your house accelerates by 30% in 2021 and 2022. So your house, which is now was worth like 200, now it's worth 420, okay? And it comes down from 420 to 400,000. Is that really a discount seeing how the house housing prices literally exploded for two years? So yeah, it was 420. Now it's 400. Is that really a big discount? Same thing with cars. Average sticker price of a car went up $2,000. So car prices have come down like 700. Is that really a discount when there was such a huge markup? Really? Is that a discount? So I'm just going to say it. If you want to live well in the United States of America, you need to make some money. Now, once again, if you want to be one of those humble people, you don't want to make a lot of money. You don't want to do that. I'm not talking to you. You go ahead with your humble self and live your humble life. Knock yourself out. But if you're someone who's like me, and let me tell you my plans here. Um, I'm going to be living in a million dollar house, driving a Porsche when I'm 77, which is 21 years in the future. See, I'm planning for my future now because if I don't plan for it, a failure to plan is just going to leave me a really crappy future. It's going to leave me so far away from where I want to be because, like I said, I want you to see how I handled this situation. I'm not even going to call it a crisis. It was a situation. And this is one of the things that you have to learn how to do in business. You have to learn how to handle situations. But going back to living in the United States of America, um, I am not leaving. I am not moving to Portugal. I am not moving to uh, South America. I'm not moving to Brazil. I'm not moving to Mexico. I'm not moving to Ecuador. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm kind of a curious creature. And I remember years and years ago, I don't know if this is the case today, but we had some missionaries come to the clinic. And this was when I was working in the hospital. And this guy said, I miss M&Ms. They were in Africa and they could not get M&Ms. I don't know if that's the case today. A lot of things have changed. But, you know, there's just certain things that I am comfortable with. There's certain things I like. There's certain things I enjoy. There are just certain things that I like living and I 
from what I can see, and once again, I may be wrong, but from what I can see, I get these things here in America. Maybe I can get them in London. Maybe I can get them in Romania. I, I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just going to say, I'm staying here. I'm not going anywhere else. I am staying here. And I'm going to do the things that I need to do to get the income. Because once again, uh, you know, I've been looking at real estate. I've been looking at million dollar plus houses. I've not been looking at normal, regular houses. I'm going to say it luxuries once tasted become necessities um i could not live in a regular house i've not lived in a regular house since 2014 so it's almost been nine years since i've lived in a regular house because 2014, I moved out the house, then I moved back to Sandy Springs. And I just enjoy living a certain way. I enjoy just having a certain kind of comfort. I just enjoy doing something and living a certain way and just doing some stuff. So we will see what the future has. But in the meantime, in the between time, I'm going to be putting out the most amazing content that I can. And, you know, like I said, I'm going to test something. There's going to be a, a webinar. Well, it's going to be a link to a website because I'm not going to do, I'm not going to do a fake webinar. Uh, there'll be a link to a page and then the stuff will be on the page where you can see the benefits. Cause like I said, a lot of people have a lot of questions and it's my goal to answer those questions. And if we do not get the questions answered tonight, we'll just do another webinar. That, that's what we do here in these business worlds. We'll just do another one because, um, like I said, um, the hacking put me on pause for Sunday and Monday and the day is Tuesday. So, we did not have like a month long pause. We just had a few days and then we go back to content creation tomorrow, which is Wednesday. And then we're going to create this webinar and then the webinar, the link to the webinar should be below where you can go ahead and check out certain things. And I have an email list of everyone who signed up for the webinar and I'm going to send them that information. And then we will have a, live q a session and that that's that's what i'm going to do sunday we're going to have a live q a session we're going to be talking about the things that we you know you can ask me questions directly or you can ask your questions on the phone line and you know it, it's real interesting because people will call and like once again let me explain something this is just the beginning i'm not going to hire someone to literally sit around all day to answer a handful of phone calls. That, that makes no sense whatsoever. But in the future, that number will get busier. We will have a lot more stuff. We'll have a lot more questions. And uh, one of the things that we're going to be working on, and this is because, like I said, I have two brokerage accounts, and my money has not really moved significantly. It has not moved at all. And we'll be talking about investing in retirement and stuff because here's the thing. You got to make more money. I don't know how many ways I can say that. You got to make more money. You got to make more money. There's, there's no other way to put it. Because like, unless you want to move to Portugal or Ecuador or Mexico or some other country, that's what you want to do. Knock yourself out. Enjoy your life. That's fine. But for the people who want to stay here in the United States of America, keep listening to me because I will deliver the information, the training that you need so you can stay here in the United States of America and you can visit Portugal, Brazil, Mexico at your leisure whenever you want to. And this is one of the things that so many people have to understand. And this is one of the things that so many people are not really dead set on. But yeah, for the record, I was attacked. <laughs> I was attacked and, you know, it's kind of funny now, but 
you know, this is the world that we live in, man. This is the world that we live in. So go ahead and direct yourself to the webinar and I will talk to you guys Sunday for the live webinar, live Q&A session, and we will begin to work on that. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next one.